Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. Email me for pricing. I am tmasso at thewatchbox.com. Today, we are discussing a 2022 launch. Now, this is the successor to the original DB25 Deadbeat Second Tourbillon of 2011. The difference here is that the DB25 Starry Varius Aerolite, shown, is a 42 rather than a 44 millimeter watch. So 42 millimeters in diameter and grade 5 titanium, you can see the watch is 12 millimeters thick, 49.7 millimeters lug to lug with the 22 millimeter spacing between the lugs. On my wrist, you know it well, 16 centimeters in circumference, the watch fits nicely, and surprisingly, though broad and packed with complication, it will fit underneath the cuff. The watch will wear well on a wrist as small as 14 centimeters, this down the barrel shot's probably the truest angle, and over the top, it always exaggerates the span of the lugs and pulling the watch rather tight. 14 centimeters is good to go here. Super light, given that it's almost entirely sapphire and titanium. Taking a quick look at the strap. A standard large rectangular scale alligator leather, large symmetrical scale, so a high grade cut of the material. You can see in profile, sheer cut showing the layers of leather. Medium blue with a monotone stitch, round scale on the bottom. Of course, the advantage of having gator on both sides is a longer lasting strap. The Batoon watches feature design matched pin buckles and you can see here that this is a more conventional flowing form that matches the more conventional fixed lug profile of the DB25 collection. There's both satination and polish, and like the watch, it is grade 5 titanium. Now, what is grade 5? Sometimes known as 6.4, it is a harder grade of titanium. Lighter than steel, yes. Hypoallergenic, like grade 2, yes. But also more scratch resistant than standard 316 and 904L watch making steels. This is a more conventional watch than say a DB27 or a DB28. So if you don't like floating lugs and open dials, this is a great way to transition from the Voodelainens, the Mortz Grossmans, perhaps the Mosers and the FP Journs of the world, as we have fixed lugs, a round case, and a solid dial. You can see that we have these lovely hollow buttress-like lug profiles with a little cabochon on each. That's the last styling vestige of the Ogival lug of the original 2002 DB1 chronograph. So that is a long-running Debitoon design theme. Otherwise, the case all of high polish with a few character lines defining the mid-case and then a seamless domed bezel giving way to a slightly vaulted sapphire. Note the crown in vintage style is unbranded with a combination of knurling and drilling. Push-down crown, 30 meters water resistant. Debitoon Debitoon makes the whole watch, so the case, the dial, and the movement, and the dial is exceptional. Debitoon uses cuts of Swedish meteorite to create this dial. It's been oxidized, stabilized, and fired to create the textures, the tones, and the patterns, so no two, even within the Aerolite series, will be exactly the same. There's more going on. As you can see, we have gold leaf for the distant celestial bodies, and the near celestial bodies, that is the near stars, you can see that they are actual inserted dowels to create little three-dimensional cabochon of gold. Now, this is customizable, so if you can think of a place and a night, that is, a place and a date, Debitoon can recreate the sky over that place that night, so this is highly tailorable. We have a combination of polished Breguet-style hands, or at least modified Breguet hands for hours and minutes, and a counterweighted Lancet-style seconds hand operating in deadbeat fashion. We have a slightly rolled toroidal minute and hour track, radially arrayed Roman numerals, including a watchmaker's four. It's a dark blue print on a silver white base. Flip it all over. The movement is spectacular. Everything that's black polished has been finished off with diamond paste. I'll polish it to accentuate its mirrored shine. It is optically flawless, whereas most watches feature small black polished parts. Think locating pegs, regulators, or maybe screws. Debitoon gives you acres of black polished steel. Mirrored bevels on the edge, you better believe it. Though this is avant-garde in design, the finishing is very traditional. Technically speaking, manual wind, four-day power reserve, twin barrels, they are self-adjusting, and that's patented. You cannot accidentally overwind them. At center, you can see a fired blue titanium bridge bearing coaxial 14-carat wheels that are associated with a secondary escapement for the deadbeat second system. You can see a spring that acts as an accumulator between the two wheels moved down just below that, a black polished bridge for the tourbillon assembly. It is a 30-second tourbillon, so spinning at twice the rate of a standard wristwatch tourbillon. It also features 36,000 
thousand for abrasion per hour beat rate, like a Zenithel Primero that is 10 beats per second. You could see Debitune's signature silicon escape wheel to reduce friction and improve performance, and a double coil hairspring that is created by Debitune. It's a patented profile, two pieces that have been bent manually and then clamped together, so flat, like a flat hairspring, taking up less space for a thinner movement and also more shock resistant like a flat hairspring, but nicely distributed in terms of mass all the way around and breathing concentrically like an overcoil. You'll also appreciate that the balance wheel is a patented titanium and white gold balance. Denis Flageolet, the watchmaking genius behind the brand, has patented no fewer than 10 individual balance wheels. This is his latest. So we have a manic tourbillon turning at twice the speed and beating at a higher rate inside a movement, quite frankly, fit for the Museum of Modern Art. But it is functional, and Debitune likes to boast that its tourbillon regulators are designed with accuracy in mind, typically to within one-half or one-third of a second gained per day. Reach out to tmasso at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details.